The Pilatus PC-24 features two primary flight displays, or PFDs. The data on the PFDs is controlled by two PFD controllers. Each controls the respective PFD. The controller is divided into two sections. The upper half controls the selections on the PFD, while the lower portion is used for radio tuning. This video describes the functions of the PFD controller. The barrow knob is used to set the altimeter setting. The altimeter can quickly be set to standard by pushing the knob. The altimeter can be configured in either inches of mercury or hectopascals. The nav select button toggles the HSI navigation display between the available sources. The sequence of navigation sources is on-side FMS, on-side VOR or localizer, cross-side FMS, and cross-side VOR or localizer. The power-up default nav source is the on-side FMS. Pushing the nav preview button will display a preview of the on-side VOR or localizer nav course while the aircraft continues to navigate on the current heading or navigation source. When nav preview is displayed and the approach is armed, the nav preview display changes to cyan, indicating that the approach is armed and will be captured. In this example, as the aircraft approaches the localizer course, the aircraft will automatically detect, change to, and capture the localizer and glide slope when appropriate. The HSI can display two bearing pointers simultaneously. Pushing the corresponding bearing pointer buttons on the PFD controller will display the bearing pointer and cycle through the available nav sources. The nav source for the bearing pointer is displayed to the right of the HSI along with the associated DME distance for VOR or localizers. Pushing the HSI button toggles the HSI display format between partial and full compass format. When in the partial format, if the heading or course pointers are rotated off screen, an arrow will point to the direction in which they are located. The ACE system features a timer that is displayed on the PFD when the elapsed timer button is pushed. Push the button again to start the timer. Push the button again to stop the timer. Push the button one more time to reset the timer. After 30 seconds at zero, the timer will be removed. The course range knob is a dual concentric knob. When an HSI overlay is selected, rotating the outer knob adjusts the range on the HSI display. The numerical range displayed on the HSI is the distance from the aircraft to the first arc, so the full range displayed on the HSI is twice what is enunciated. Rotating the inner knob sets the course for the selected VOR or localizer. Pushing the knob centers the course indication. The PC-24 is equipped with an IRS, an AHARS, and two air data computers. The IRS normally provides attitude and heading information to the pilot's side, whereas the AHARS provides the same information to the co-pilot's side. The air data computers provide information to their respective sides. In the event that the IRS, the AHARS, or either air data computer fails, Corresponding data will be lost on the respective PFD. In this case, pushing the ADHRS button displays the ADHRS selection window. This window is used to select cross-side sensor data when necessary. Attitude and Heading 1 displays IRS data from the pilot side, while Attitude and Heading 2 displays AHARS data from the co-pilot side. An amber enunciator on the PFD indicates when cross-side data is selected. This example was for demonstration purposes only. 
always refer to published emergency or abnormal procedures and or checklists in the event of a system failure. Normally, each PFD is controlled by its respective PFD controller. However, if a button or knob on a PFD controller fails, the desired function can still be accomplished by using the cross-side PFD controller. To control the cross-side PFD, push the PFD button on the on-side PFD controller. When controlling the cross-side PFD, the message PFD control inactive is shown on the on-side PFD. This is because you can only control one PFD at a time. The lower portion of this controller is used for radio tuning and is covered in a different video. For more information, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.